Hi, I'm Cole. It's very important that we get the correct thimble slide size for your finger so that it fits comfortably and will work well for you. To do this, we need to get the diameter and or circumference of the fingertip region of your slide finger. Third finger is recommended. The measurements are taken right across the middle of the fingernail on that finger. So I've put together a sizing chart that has several different methods on it to get those measurements and allow us to get the correct thimble slide size to you. Now, generally speaking, size medium will fit most men, with some needing a large. Size small will fit most females, with some needing a size medium. Very few people will need size extra large. So if you're a male and you're going through the sizing chart and it looks like you're going to need a size large, be extra careful of your measurements, make sure they're right, and it may be true. If you're female and it looks like you're going to need a size medium, be doubly sure. Now that said, keep in mind as well, the thimble slide does have a sizing gap on it, which will allow you to relax the fit or tighten it up within about a half a size. So these measurements are delicate to take, so take your time, take them several times, and use consistent results. Let me take you through the chart. Here is the Thimble Slide sizing chart. You can download it from thimbleslide.com. And when you do and print it out, the first thing I want you to notice is this measure here. It's a scale proof. For this chart to work properly, it needs to be printed out at 100% scale. And you can check that with this scale proof. When printed out properly, it should be one inch. And you can check that with a measure or ruler, line it up, and there you can see I've printed it out correctly. There's the one inch proof. This means we're good to go. And be sure to read the notes that I've put here at the top and at the sides. It's very important. So first up is method one, size range measures. And I've put an example here of what a good fit is versus too large a fit. Uh, the goal is to get your finger, the sides of your finger, as close to the brackets as possible without touching or covering them up. So over here, for instance, this might be an okay fit, but there's a little more space than you'd want. Uh, when compared to this one, this is a little bit closer. This is going to be the better fit. But I'll go through here and show you right now. So taking a look at, at, a, at a measure, you see there's, there's dots here and then the brackets of the measure. Your finger needs to land, the sides of your finger needs to land between the dots and the brackets. So, using my third finger, I line it up, and here you can see the dots. So that means my finger is not even big enough to reach the dots. That's telling me that this, is, this size is too large for me. So we'll check the next size down. Line it up with large. The fingertip goes to that little line. And I'm not seeing the dots now, that's good. But there's still a fair amount of space between the sides of my finger and the bracket. So we'll just compare that with the next size down, medium. And we line it up. Ah, that's a tighter fit. You can see the dots are covered up and the sides of my finger are much closer to the brackets than it was with the size large. So that's indicating that this size medium is going to be a better fit for me. Just to show you what too big is, let me line it up with the small. And you can see my finger is just smothering the lines, smothering the brackets. That's telling me my finger is just too big for the small. So once again, between the large and the medium, See the space there in the large versus a tighter fit on the medium. Okay, this is indicating that the medium is the best fit for me. Now before I accept that, I'm going to compare my results with one of the other methods on the sheet. But for method number one, I'm a size medium. Method two. Method number two is the color-coded size range measure. 
and I like this one. It's becoming my favorite one. Make sure you uh, make sure you use it and uh, compare its results. But what you want to do is, as shown in the example, you line up your finger, you know, fingertip to the line, side of the finger to the side of the measure, and the other side of your finger will land in a color-coded size range. And that size range corresponds to a thimble slide size. So, I take my third finger and I'm lining it up on the measure, fingertip to the line, and the side to the side of the measure. There we go. Just like it is over here. And as I zoom in, you can see the side of my finger has landed in gold. So I'm, according to the chart here, gold is medium. So according to method number two, the color-coded size range measure, I'm a size medium. Method four, string wrap. I'm skipping ahead to the string wrap because not everyone will have access to ring sizers. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what we're doing with the string wrap is measuring the circumference of the fingertip of your slide finger. So like in this photo here, we're gonna take a piece of string, tape it to the side of your finger, and wrap it over the middle of the fingernail area of your fingertip. And let me show you how to do that. Just take a piece of string and trim off the tip. I've already done that on mine, but trim off the tip to get rid of any fray. Make it as, as straight as you can. And take a piece of tape, clear tape, and stick it over the end. Then you want to tape it to the side of your finger. With the uh, end being close to the uh, close to the fingernail area and then just go right over not tight not loose just just firm you know and right where it overlaps so you can take your other finger and hold it there right where it overlaps you can take a pen and mark that there we go Okay, then unwrap it and take it down to a measure. Line it up with one of the lines. There we are. Yeah, you want to get that right on the line there. It's a little tough for me to do on camera. But you line it up the line up the edge with the line. Okay. Like that. And then go out to where that ink mark is and measure that. What you're measuring is how many sixteenths. In this case, I'm in the United States, so we're using inches. So we measure off the sixteenths to the ink mark. If you're using uh, millimeters, uh, then that's fine. You know, count off uh, millimeters. In this case, I'm like 28 and a quarter sixteenths. And so having measured that, 28 and like a quarter, take a look at the table I've provided. You'll see I have things listed here in sixteenths or millimeters. And looking up at the top, we see 25 to 28 sixteenths is a small. And I was 28 and a quarter, maybe 28 and a half. So 28 to 31.3 sixteenths is in the medium range. I just made it into the medium range. And then on down through the table. So I hope you find your size here easily. And according to the string wrap method, I'm a medium. Method three, 
ring size ranges. I get asked from time to time if ring sizes are an indication of thimble slide sizes, and not really because your ring size is taken at the base of the finger, and we need to measure your fingertip area. But if you have access to ring sizers, uh, we can get a good range. Uh, preferably use the wide kind, the wide ring sizers as shown here. And go through them until you find the ones that are close to your size. Here I've got it narrowed down to three. And that's a two and a half, a three, and a size four. And what you're looking for is for it to sheathe your fingertip area, but not be too tight nor be too large. And here, the size two and a half, it feels like it might be a good fit, and then it, it just gets too tight in this area. You want it to be able to go all the way back. I have to really push it. So that's not going to be a good one. It's very snug. Now, by contrast, here's size four. Now size four, it feels, again, it feels like, a, like it's a good fit. It sheathes the whole fingertip area there, but it's also got some rattle room, as I call it. And not a whole lot, but enough to where you can see it rattling there. That's, that's going to be too big, so that's not a good fit. Number three, size three. Now size three, it actually feels like it might be too small but it's really not because it's sheathing the fingertip with a relaxed fit. It goes almost all the way back down my nail, you see. And in the mid portion of the fingernail area, it's relaxed. It's not snug. It's not really a whole lot of play in it, you know, for rattle room. So of those three choices, ring size three would be the best fit for me. So having got that, you take a look at the table, and as you can see, ring sizes one to two and a half is small, three to four and a half is medium, and that's me, size three. So according to ring sizers, I'm a size medium. If you're having trouble using one of the methods where you're just unsure of the results you're getting, then just move on to the other methods. What's important is just that you get two of them to work for you so that you get consistent and confirming results of your size. The two that I like the most, and I hope you get to work for you, are the color size range and the string wrap. I think they're easy to use and deliver the most accurate results. Good luck determining your size.